Hi everyone, this video will be for bet 3 of the flat season of 2020 and we're putting off bet number 3. Bet number 1 was Santiago for the St Ledger, £50 win out of a bank of 400 um, at 8 to 1 for the St Ledger and the second bet was a stakes refunded race, on, uh, bet on Beat Le Bon at 25 to 1, he was a non-runner and the stake was refunded. So the third bet now, there's no guarantees on these bets, and a lot of them go out in big races where, you know, you're taking risks. But I believe the risk's worth it on this uh, horse. And I personally have buck just bucked it just now. But obviously, you only buck it if you fancy it yourself. Anyway, out of my bank of £400 now, whatever you bet is up to yourself. And um, you have to be responsible for your own gambling, really. But... Um, I'm going to bet out of my mythical £400 after betting Santiago and having 350 left. I'm going to bet £20 each way and £10 win on pawn this at 16 to 1 with uh, bet 365. That'll be with four places for the Ebor Handicap, which is the 320 at York on Saturday. I believe this is way too big a price. I, I like the horse. I quite fancied him. I made him only a 10 to 1 shot, he's 6 points higher and I can see him going off of 8s. He's owned by an Australian owner who's won the Melbourne Cup with uh, a horse with Joseph O'Brien. I could see this horse potentially being one of those sort of Melbourne Cup horses but to get a weight in the Melbourne Cup he's going to have to win an Ebor. It's plain and simple as that, I don't think he'd get in if he didn't win this. I think he's being laid out to try and win it. Whether he can or not will be a different matter. But I don't think it's as strong a race as it has been in the past. I just think 16 to 1 is a very, very big price on him. And I'm prepared to go in even before the other bookmakers price up. He's 14s with Skybet, which would be acceptable. But I wouldn't really want to go much lower than that. So I just checked my phone. It's 20 past 1 on... Uh, Thursday and I, I want to be with Pond this in uh, Ebor and I'm prepared to take the risk. Gambling's all about taking risks and I'm prepared to take that risk. Jamie Spencer rides, he's in drawn in stall five which isn't bad, it's, it's fine there. I mean he can't afford to be really slowly away but it, it's, uh, it's a perfectly fine draw over a mile six and I expect Spencer will play him late, hopefully not too late but it looks a bit of a plot to me and uh, so bet three for my flat season and they are my bets at the end of the day and I have been putting money on them of course I have and um, you should only follow me in if you fancy the horse yourself but I believe he's a good value bet so the bet will be £20 each way and £10 win pawn this for the Ebor handicap that's a 320 at York on Saturday and it's 16 to 1 with bet 365 and 14 to 1 with Sky bet I believe the horse will go off a lot shorter than that and he'll be my third bet of the season. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck. And if you follow me in, hopefully we're on a winner. Bye for now.